Welcome you all to Azure Security Solution webinar. So before starting this session, let me introduce about myself. So I'm Param Sudhar. I'm working as a subject matter expert in cloud security and BI department at cloud that I have trained more than 600 people uh, in cyber security domain and also having the various Microsoft cyber security certification like SC200, 400, 900 and various cyber security certification also. Uh, I have worked uh, in various security domain like VAPT, penetration testing, also design various machine learning model for detecting threats and attacks. I am pursuing PhD in DDoS attack and publish various research articles. Generally, I have sought by many training, but most of the clients are Wipro and from Infosys internationally and nationally. So uh, our session is Azure Security Solution. If you are totally new in this domain, first you are new, you need to understand what is cloud computing because Azure, it's one of the cloud services provided by Microsoft. So if you don't know what is cloud, for what purpose you are using the cloud computing, how it will work, what are the services and features provided by cloud, it, it, it will be a bit difficult to understand the security solution which is provided by Azure. But don't worry, guys, I'll try to make the seminar webinar in such a way that you will get the general understanding of cloud also and the security solution, which we are going to discuss about in webinar that is Microsoft Sentinel, Microsoft 365 Defender and Microsoft Defender for cloud. So before starting the session, um, first you need to understand what is cloud we can say uh, cloud it's basically a virtual storage right so what happened uh, in the organization there are two types of concept one is on-prem and second is the cloud concept now not what happened in on-premises in on-premises organization need to install each and everything from the scratch they have to build the infrastructure related to network related to devices, if we talk about software and everything. But when we talk about cloud, the cloud is basically providing three different types of services. We can say SaaS, PaaS and S. That is software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So what kind of services you want to use? According to that, you are using those services virtually, remotely. You don't need to install anything from the scratch, everything in your organization, but some organizations are available that is called cloud service provider. And those cloud service provider will basically providing those kind of services. So whenever we are talking about cloud model, it is really very important to understand shared responsibility model. So let's start with shared responsibility. So here I have pasted one diagram where you can see various type of model. Here we have a software as a service model, platform as a service model, infrastructure as a service model, and on-prem model. The blue part, which is indicating the responsibility of the customer, and the gray part, which is indicating the responsibility of the Microsoft. So if we are following this on-premises model, or we can say on-prem model, all this responsibility are need to be taken care by the customer itself or the organization. But when we talk about cloud service provider, let's take S. So in S, the last three portion will be taken care by the cloud service provider. The rest of the part will be taken care by the customer. Same if we talk about platform as a service, the operating system to data center will be taken care by the Microsoft and some short of stuff like network control, application level control, and identity and access management level control are taken care by Microsoft. But this three portion are taken care by the customer, your organization. If we talk about software as a service, almost everything are managed by the cloud service provider from application to physical data center, we can say, and some short of identity management control, director infrastructure. But if you can observe over here, information and data, devices, accounts, and identity, these three responsibilities are always be taken care by your company or your organization, even though if it is SaaS, PaaS, or us. And same, physical host, physical network, and physical data center are always taken care by the Microsoft. 
even if we are using us based platform pass based platform or saas based platform right so this is general idea about the shared responsibility model that you need to understand because whenever we talk about security model we need to understand at what level of security are taking care by the cloud service provider and what security that we need to take care next we have a defense in depth now defense in depth approach is really important we can say it is the layered approach in security domain so at what level we can provide the security so defense in depth it's a layer approach which is indicating if one of the layer will not work there will be a second layer will definitely taking care about your organization stuff data and the information so in microsoft perspective there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total seven layers are available physical security identity and access perimeter network compute application and data and one more topic here we are going to discuss that is zero trust model followed by the microsoft now what is zero trust model zero trust methodology indicating trust no one and verify everything so this is a general idea that whenever we talk about security we need to keep into the mind like the fines and depth kind of approaches zero trust model and shared responsibility which is generally provided by microsoft so let's quickly switch into the uh, security solution about uh, the major security solution i can say so first we are going to discuss about microsoft sentinel now microsoft sentinel it's basically same tool or we can say same and so kind of tool which is constantly monitor and capture the traffic and to the devices and the services or we can say the resources over the azure platform and then they will provide the alert so how it is working microsoft sentinel it's basically collect all the data from different different resources after collecting the data it will detect something if any threat kind of thing is available it will try to detect it after detecting it it will investigate like what kind of pattern is there what kind of network traffic is coming from the different different resources it will investigate it and according to that it will respond so this is the continuous process it is not like one time process whatever the traffic is coming from the different different resources the sentinel will constantly looking into the particular traffic monitor it detect it investigate it and according to that it will respond so here we have a various solution in microsoft sentinel that will cover a practical part so this is how microsoft azure look like here all are the services basically provided by microsoft this are the recent services which is used by particular person those services you will be able to see over here so if you click this particular part here you will be able to see various resources all the saas pass and ask based services which is provided by microsoft as you go those services you will be able to understand so what we are looking for we are looking for microsoft sentinel so let me click microsoft sentinel and you will be redirected into microsoft sentinel page now for microsoft sentinel we need workspace so what is workspace workspace it's basically the location where all the logs will be there log from different different resources so you have to select the workspace click on workspace and here you will be able to see the portal of microsoft sentinel so this all are the services generally provided by microsoft sentinel next solution we have a microsoft 365 defender now when we talk about 365 defender it is taking care about identity and point application and email collaboration so let me open portal so you have to open admin.microsoft.com once you will click admin.microsoft.com you will be redirected into the admin part admin of the microsoft where microsoft 365 admin center will appear click on show all button here is the show all button click on show all and here we have a security solution we are redirected into different portal that is microsoft 365 defender so once you will be redirected here you will be able to see various solutions provided by microsoft 365 defender next and last we have a microsoft defender for cloud now let me clear microsoft 365 defender it's a different 
and Microsoft Defender for Cloud, it's a different services. Both are different. If we talk about Microsoft Defender for Cloud, again, we have to move into the Azure portal, the same where we were using Microsoft Sentinel. So portal.azure.com, it's basically used for the Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So this is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So how this will useful? This is basically providing cloud posture management, we can say. So hope you have enjoyed the session and you have learned something new. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your time. Once again, thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Take care.